Hello everyone, it's Miss Melody here at the King Public Library. I am here to present our next teen program. So what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be doing the DIY Harry Potter Monster Book of Monsters. I have assembled all of my materials. Um, I have scissors. I have a hot glue gun. I have tape just in case. I have wide ribbon because I didn't have any leather straps and I think this will look just as good. I have my X-Acto knife and my cardboard. Now, if you have an X-Acto knife and you are planning on using it for some of this detailed work that we're gonna be doing with his teeth and gums, be very careful. Um, if you don't have an X-Acto knife, use a sharp pair of scissors. You should still be good. I also have my marbles for his eyeballs. I have my glue and I have a tray for my glue and a paintbrush to paint it on. I also have my red felt and my white felt and a box. Just any kind of box. If you have a wooden box, that's fine. If you have a cardboard box, that is also fine. I have a ton of these mini muffin boxes that my kids um, demolish every time I get them. So I have a ton of these. So what I've done is I have cut my felt to match the size of my box and I have left about an inch of hangover because if you've watched Harry Potter and you have seen the monster book of monster, he has like jig jaggy little hairs hanging down. So we want to be able to cut those into it after we have glued it on. So I left some hangover so that we can do that. Now, before we start gluing, I'm going to try this glue. I don't know if this glue, school glue will work or not. I haven't tried it. I'm just trying to come up with an easier way so that if you don't have a hot glue gun that you can use school glue. So we're gonna try this first. And if all else fails, I have my hot glue gun here, warm and ready to go. So we are going to paint our glue on and get this glued on and let it dry. I forgot something. So before you put your brown felt on, you're gonna wanna um, take your white felt and run it around the bottom because that's gonna be the inside of the book. So you want it to be white. So if you're using a wooden box that you would like to paint white first, you could do that. If you would like to take a cardboard box and paint it white, you could also do that. Um, but since I have white felt, I'm just gonna glue my white felt on all the way around, um, just like that. Before I put my brown on, I am also gonna do that up here on the top of the box as well. So before you do your brown felt, do your white felt because then the brown's gonna go over top of it. All right, so it seems like this school glue is gonna work pretty good. I went ahead and got my white strips on and I'm getting ready to put my brown felt all the way around. Let this white dry a little bit um, just so that it's not sliding off while you're trying to put your brown on. So I'm gonna get our brown on and yeah, let's just see what it looks like as soon as we get done. All right, everybody, it seems like this glue is working very well, and I wanted to let you know I misspoke earlier. This is not school glue. This is Mod Podge. Same thing we use to um, do our animal decor in our first program. This is really working well, so I'm happy that I had this giant tub of glue. So, as you can see, I have glued on my brown felt. What I am doing now is I am cutting the little triangle hairs um, that hang down on the side. So as you can see, I've cut those all the way around. And right here at the back, I am just cutting straight down. Little tip, make sure to measure twice and cut once because I didn't measure my white big enough. So I have a little pink on the side, but I'm hoping that nobody will really notice it. Um, so just measure twice, cut once. Um, little tip there. All right, so I'm going to continue cutting all the way around and then what we're going to do is we are going to add his eyes, his mouth and teeth, um, and his ribbon for his um, belt. 
So, yay, looking good already. It looks like a monster book of monsters. It kind of is coming together really nicely. So I hope yours is too. So we'll be back in a sec. All right, everybody. So I am back. Here we go. All right, everybody. I have actually discovered that you are gonna have to have a hot glue gun um, to get the teeth on um, because the Mod Podge just soaks into the white felt. So you will have to have a, a hot glue gun for some of it. Um, so what I did for my teeth is I took a square of red felt, I cut out a square for the top gun, a square for the bottom gum, and then I just took some of my white felt. I cut a strip out and made jig jaggy teeth and I glued those onto the felt. Then I took the whole, um, the whole top and the whole bottom jaw and I just glued them straight on to the flap and make sure you don't glue it so that it still opens and closes. Um, so when you're putting your white felt on, be real careful with that. I have also taken my hot glue gun and I have come around and glued some of these on so that they will stay down or if they're on the bottom they will stay up because you see how that looks and that doesn't look good. So I'm going to finish up by taking some more hot glue and just gluing these last few down so that they look like that. He's coming together quite nicely. Um, the next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to hot glue the eyes on and give him a couple strips of ribbon for his binder, for his leather strap. So I'm just going to finish hot gluing this. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So be very careful with your hot glue gun. And I'm just putting a little dot underneath each triangle and I am gluing those down to the flap just like that right there and I am going to glue this last one down hopefully he'll cover up some of that pink mistake that I made um, hot glue does leave strings everywhere so you will have to clean him up a bit once the glue dries because you'll have stringies everywhere just like that Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing here on the bottom, just a dollop of glue, little dollop of glue. And if you wanna use a hot glue gun for all of it, it is absolutely fine. Um, my daughter is 13 and she has her own hot glue gun because she is very crafty. So if you have one and would like to use that without having to use the school glue or the Mod Podge, that's absolutely fine. So done with that. Look at there, all his little things are hanging down and he's got teeth. So, last but not least, we're gonna put his eyes right here on top. So what I chose was I chose three orange cat's eye marbles. And we're just gonna put all three of them right there and you're gonna have to use your hot glue gun for this as well. So, and this is gonna be a good dollop of glue. And bloop, put that there. Give me another good dollop of glue and bloop. He has another eye. And last but not least, his third eye. So that is gonna have to dry really good before we can do anything else. Shouldn't take too terribly long. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So the next thing we're gonna do is I have this nice wide ribbon, nice and wide. I am going to cut me a strip so that it goes all the way around him. And we're gonna leave it open in the front here. Um, I had thought about, you could take a piece of cardboard and cut out a square and another little square inside of it so that it looks like a buckle and you could paint it gold and glue that to your strip. I might still do that. I haven't really decided yet. Um, we'll see when we get there. 
So what you're gonna do now is you're just going to try to get you a nice even strip of ribbon. Uh, make it as wide as you want it to be um, because it's for the leather straps that bind him um, closed, keep him closed because he is a monster. All right, so I hope I've done that. I didn't measure, I just did. Oh, and I didn't measure it good enough. Um, so what I actually might do just for decoration purposes, mine's a little too thick. I didn't really want it that thick. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it in half, just like that. I am gonna glue the top half like that, and then the bottom half like that. So that you really can't tell I made a mistake. So then you do that again so that he has two strips of leather straps. So I want it on the pretty side out and I'm just gonna take me some hot glue and glue it right there just as straight as I possibly can, just like that. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Then I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna sit him on top of it so that it is nice and straight. Just like that. Another dollop of glue. And I'm going to glue that down. All right. Perfect, 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 perfect. So that is what I have done. I've glued that right there. And then you're going to do it again for the other side. Let's do that. Um, let's try this time to get a piece that is long enough without having to cut it in half. Um, try to make sure that you get it the same size. I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, mine is just gonna be sitting in my room so nobody will see it and he'll probably just have some of my really cool knickknacks hanging out inside so just like that and i think i will cut him in half so once you get these ribbons on, I'm going to show you how to make a buckle out of cardboard um, using a pair of scissors because I don't think we'll need much more than that. So I'm going to put him like that and I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I'm just putting a dollop of glue where I want the end at. So right there is fine, like that. And then we are going to sit him on top, just like that right there. Get him nice and straight. Hot glue gun, little doll up there. And just glue him on just like that right there. So I am going to let my glue dry while we make a buckle. So I have a piece of cardboard here. Um, this is what I've been using for my X-Acto knife, so it'll be fine. We don't want a big buckle. I would say probably about this size square will do. Just a little square. This is where my handy dandy X-Acto knife comes in, so be careful with this. It's very, very sharp. So I'm gonna do like that. 
I'm just cutting out a square on the inside of my buckle. And want to leave a little line in the middle here so that you have something for your ribbon to kind of loop around. So let me show you what I mean as soon as I can get this pesky square out. Okay, so that's one side of it, just like that. You wanna be able to get your ribbon to go in. So then I am cutting out another little rectangle on the other side. Ooh, be very careful. Very, very careful. Very, very sharp. All right, one more little cut and I think I will have it. Yep. All right. So when I say leave a little strip in the middle, this is what I mean. I want you to be able to Take your ribbon and kind of run him through just like that. So it looks like a real buckle. Um, just like that. And you paint that um, gold and it will look like a real buckle. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make um, one more at least. For the other side, I'm gonna get my gold paint and I'm going to paint it. So you'll get to see what that looks like when we get back. All right, everybody. So as you can see, he is coming along nicely. I've got his ribbon on. Everything is glued down. He's got his teeth. Last thing I've done is I have painted my Buckles, silver. I didn't have any gold, so I used silver. So I'm letting them dry before we put that on, and that will just about finish him up. I wanted to um, let you know, though, that if you are going to use the buckles, please be careful if you're using an X-Acto knife. It's very sharp and very dangerous. Also, if you're going to use hot glue in your hot glue gun, Please be very careful, the tip is hot. I want everybody to be safe so that we can have another craft another day. I want everybody to be safe. So all I did was I pulled out some metallic acrylic paint with my paintbrush and my handy dandy palette. I am putting the last little layer on. I did a couple layers so that I know that it'll be nice and silvery because I want this to stand out really good against his brown Fur. Another thing, um, I used flat felt just because I didn't really want a Harry book monster. Um, I know that in Harry Potter he's very fuzzy and you can get that kind of felt. It is at lots of supply stores like Walmart and uh, Michaels and things like that. But I just opted for the regular brown felt. It was a little bit cheaper. I like the look of it a little bit better. I also went for a cheap cardboard box, but you could go for a wooden box. You could make this your very own little wooden um, jewelry box. You could hide jewelry in it. You could put Harry Potter memorabilia in it. You could put your secret stash of crayons in it, whatever you wanted to do. Mine is actually gonna hold pencils at my desk. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have it sitting on my desk. So I'm super excited about it because he looks really great. I can't wait for my buckles to dry so that I can get them on and show you what they look like um, and how much of this we're gonna have to cut off because that will come once we get the buckles on. You don't wanna cut it off until you know um, where your buckles are gonna land. So that will be our next step. Just make sure that if you do use your hot glue gun, you come back in and get all these little um, wayward strands these little spider strands is what they look like um, they just look like spider web but you want him to look very neat and clean and nice so you take those off 
anytime you're using a hot glue gun, that thing ha that happens. So his eyes are almost dry, his buckles are almost dry, and as soon as that happens, we will get them on there and see the finished product. So what I'm gonna do while that happens is I'm just gonna clean up my area. I always like to have a nice clean workstation. Um, so I'm gonna get this washed out, let these dry, and probably go ahead and unplug my hot glue gun so it can start cooling off before I put it up. Very smart tip. Let it cool off. Just You want to be able to touch the tip of it before you store it. Because if you store it hot, it could hit something flammable and overheat and melt plastic. It could do all kinds of stuff. So we don't want that to happen. So just be really safe and careful. So I'm gonna get all my stuff cleaned up and we'll be back to see the finished product. I'm super excited. All right, everybody. I am here to finish up our monster book of monsters. My buckles are dry and they look great. I wanted to show you what I did was I took the ribbon and pulled it tight. I cut off any excess that I had because I only need enough to glue right there. I put a little dollop of my hot glue. I pulled the ribbon in and I tucked them in. So that's the top. I did the same thing on the bottom. I pulled the ribbons nice and tight. I cut off any extra that I had and I glued them right there with a dollop of hot glue. So, this is our finished Monster Book of Monsters. I hope you have enjoyed this craft as much as I have. It's really cute. It's a great little way to accent your room. Just like our first um, program that we did, Animal Decor, this kind of goes right along with it. So, I hope you will join me next time. Our next summer learning program is on July 8th. And we will be doing um, Nailed It or Failed It vegan style. So no tails here. There'll be no animal products in what I make. We will be making something so delicious that you could make a little bit for you or a whole bunch for your entire family. Wouldn't it be so nice for mom to come home from work and you've already made dinner and it's healthy. So I hope you will join me for that on July 8th at 12 o'clock. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, just give it a good like and share. So, don't forget, come get your summer learning packs. It has all the instructions for all the videos that I will be posting throughout the whole summer. It also has so many other activities that you can do. Also, come get your reading log. I want you guys to be earning prizes. I have some amazing prizes this year. I also wanted to, well, not also, I wanted to tell you some about our prizes. So what you'll do is every hour that you read, you will get a ticket that goes into an entry for a drawing for a different prize. I have seven, no, I have 10 different prizes for you guys, one of which is a CD slash Blu-ray slash DVD player. <gasps> Pretty cool, right? I can't wait to give these prizes away. So I want you guys to come get your reading logs. I really want you earning prizes for all that reading you're doing. I know you're out there reading. So earn prizes while you're doing it. Come on to the library and see us and get everything you need to enjoy your summer. Do crafts, read, earn prizes, and have fun. So I will see you guys next time for our Nailed It and Failed It video. Bye everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day and are having a fabulous summer. Bye everybody.